Build-wise, brick-wise, I think panels is actually pretty okay. I didn't have a problem with them. They're not gonna be like perfect and original. Hold up pretty good, look at that. Do we have to do it like a drop test every time? Oh look, one building is rolling away. See you later, building. See you later. Hey guys, look, it's something different and original. Yay! So welcome back to Pick Me Up Scotty. I'm Scotty, and today we're looking at Panlos. If you haven't seen the chicken mix, they're out to destroy the world. See the link here, Panlos are pretty cool. They come up with some original ideas. And this, check it out. This is so cool, it's so different. These are like picture frame ideas. This is Panels Bricks Miniature City. 656-001-2-3 and 4. And pieces vary from around 370 to 380 pieces per set. I personally love this idea and this concept and this set. I really hope that Panels comes out with more. So I'm gonna let you guys know more about this. So let it be known. Tell Panlos to do more. I'll let them know if we can reach out to them. Panlos, have you seen this? Yeah, man. Gotta do more of this stuff. I think it's actually really cool. Now, I just wanna mention to you guys, what you're seeing here in the close-ups like this, all the stickers are on already. And the stuff that you see with me at the table, they have no stickers. So at least you kinda get the best of both worlds. And for each one, I'll describe a little bit of what I think about the stickers. Now, I tried to be cool with this review and be like, you know what, I'm gonna show this to you guys without the stickers and you guys can see it with and without the stickers and, and you know, you can see for yourself which way you like it. Unfortunately, by doing that and taking so long to do this review, I've been shifting things around, moving things around in the office, from home and all that kind of stuff. I lost one of the set of stickers. I'm like, no, it's somewhere here or it's somewhere in my house. I know it's around, but you know, apologies for that. One of these won't have the sticker. Yeah, let's jump into this in the order of the model number, starting with this one first. So the first one you're seeing here is Beijing. And what's really cool is we see on this camera, it actually looks pretty okay without a sticker. It looks more simple and minimalistic, and I like that. And that's why I didn't put the stickers on. And I love this part. This is actually really interesting. Look at that. This is the picture frame idea. And as you can see, it's not really going anywhere. I love this idea. You can take that off, and but if you want to just really hang it up somewhere in your house, that is a great little touch. And I haven't seen that before. So kudos and good job, Panos, for doing something I haven't seen before, unless you've ripped that idea off from someone else. But no, it's actually pretty cool. What really attracted me is actually the flushed wall in the background. The sky, it's actually pretty cool how they did that. I love how it kind of pops out. It's got the 3D look again. You got the clouds here that look really, really impressive. And this is, you know, it's a daytime thing that's going on. And what's cool is each one of these has a different time of day. So it's got like daytime to evening time. And that's up to you if you want to switch them around. You can. This thing will come off and I'll show that to you guys in a second. But I love the background and you know you got some some depth there. And you got the buildings here in front. I actually have been to Beijing once to do a shoot there. And I have been to this glass building here, this blue one on the front. That's actually pretty cool. I like that. It's a really interesting architecture. And I've been to the temple here. Um, I don't think I've seen the statue though, or just I think this is a statue. And a little pagoda here. And you got some city skylines. These are really simple stuff. I mean, you guys can probably use your leftover tiles, but plenty of these single ones, and make your own little tiny city brick. And this sign here on the front is printed. That does say Beijing on it. This is the back side of it. So you got like these things here to help support so that it doesn't fall apart. And of course, you got the picture frame thing here, which you can entirely just take off like that. It's up to you. I think it works both ways. So there is Beijing. Now they do come with minifigures, so let's take a look at the minifigures for this set. Here we go. So for each set, you get a boy and a girl, or a guy and a lady. And what's really cool is that each one is kind of designed to fit with the set. So you got these two wearing I heart, I love Beijing. You got the guy here with his briefcase and binoculars. I guess they're total tourists. Got a girl with her phone, and I think that's a drink. It's a sticker on the phone that says, I heart Beijing, it's like a selfie. She's looking at herself. Why are you looking at yourself? But you know, the printing and everything is actually pretty okay. It's better than like Thing Bao, to be honest with you. I like the printing on these guys. They're, they're passable to me. I like them a lot, check them out. There they go. And if you want to see how they go with the scaling of the set here, look at that. Of course, Deer and I will jump into the set later, so make sure you stay to the end for that. Yeah, they're, Definitely not to scale with the figures because, you know, as you can see, the city is very miniature. This is Beijing with a sticker on the background here, as you can see. There's not much of a huge difference there. It's just the background part. That's it. For this one, I think you kind of could have left the sticker out, but, you know, I'm doing it for you guys. This is Shanghai. How cool is that? And again, there's that nice sky. And if you want to compare it with the earlier one, the one that we just saw, you can see it's getting a little bit darker. I have been to Shanghai a couple times. 
it's fun. I love the Bund. Bund is awesome. Really cool place. I love the food there. Amazing. Yes, if you have a chance to go to Shanghai, go check it out. Go check out the little old school markets and places out there. Very neat indeed. Again, you got the beautiful frame in the background and I love how they tile everything and it just got the illusion of the sky. These little gray pieces in the background, those are buildings. You're, seeing, you're gonna see them right now with the stickers on. Can you see them? Yeah, that's with the stickers on. This one actually looks a lot busier than the last one we saw. You got the main structure there from that you all see in the posters of Shanghai. And you know, you got like little things down here. I'm not even sure what that is, like a little wing. You got tons of little buildings here. I recognize them. I don't know what they are, but they're just more and more buildings. Of course, the printed sign there that says Shanghai. But what's cool is you guys should take some inspiration and use your own bricks and build your own little city here. These are really simple, simple tiles that they're using. This is Shanghai with the stickers. It's got a little bit more detail on there, on the buildings, on the background, and on the front there, there's like two stickers on the orange piece of city and the red one. Doesn't even look like Shanghai. I'm not even sure where that is. And then on here on the bottom of that tower thingy, it's got like just three small stickers. Very, very, very minor things no stickers on the minifigs okay the minifigures are actually pretty funny on this one because they look like they're now getting into designer wear and you got like these this lion logo on here and they're wearing something called kezo it's not like a copy of kenzo is that brand i'm not a fashion guy but i think i've seen that it almost looks like an ed hardy clothing line the printing is okay the line looks cute the guy has his camera ready i like the long lens on there and his backpack he looks pretty cool the girl's got a cupcake i don't know why and I of course, a designer handbag, probably. And little printing on their pants as well. But there you go, boy and girl. And here they go with the set. There you go. You can probably put them like farther away, looking at the set and going, oh look, we're gonna take a photo of that like that. Give you a little bit of depth perception there. Looks like they're part of the city, or not. All right, let's look at the next one. So this is the third one, and this is Guangzhou, which is in the mainland China. I totally don't even know what buildings exist in that area. But look, what's cool is the sunset. Let's take a look at this sucker. I love the sunset idea here. It has a different tone of color each way. And this thing looks like a colored... You know what? You know, I think I've seen this building before. The one that looks like a popsicle. Maybe I have been to that bridge. I'm pretty sure this bridge is close to this building. If I'm not mistaken, I could be totally wrong. Might have actually been there. I just can't remember. You got even more buildings on here. Really simple, you know? It's just a simple concept, but it's this wall thing, I think, that actually makes it really stand out. And if you guys really want to see the thing come off, let's see if I can just pop it off real fast for you guys. Uh, I might take the studs part off with it underneath, but, you know, one way to find out. There, oh yeah, it did. It took off this piece off here, but, you know, you guys get the idea. You can totally take the wall off and just have a little city or just collect this part, you know? If you just like the sunset itself with no sticker on it, there you go. But yeah, or switch them around with the other sets, you know? Yeah, this is out of rain. Here, look. Now, Guangzhou is in the daytime. So yeah, it's easy to just switch them around. So here's the minifigures for this set, and this is the set, unfortunately, I'm missing the stickers for. No, but I, you know, I'll find them somewhere. I know they're somewhere around, and I think the reason why is because this set is actually really small. They only use the stickers in the background and on the minifigures, so probably just slipped off somewhere. That's okay, we'll survive. But here are the minifigures, the girl and the guy wearing give it chair. That is so funny. And the girls were holding her ice cream with a selfie stick. And you got the guy here with his cap and glasses who thinks he's so cool, carrying his little hand carrier around. And I do not know what the sticker looks like on there. And I probably don't need to or want to. But anyway, there you go. That's the two figures that come with this set. And now let's move on to the last one. So here we go. So the night has fallen upon us as you can see here, and this is Hong Kong. Yay, this is my favorite one. Of course it is, because I live here. Look at this, love it. Nighttime, city lights, all that good stuff. Let's just take a look at it close up. Now, earlier I had the building in the front. I'm not sure what quite happened there, and I think I'm missing one here. Where did it go? You know, these things happen all the time. Pieces go flying everywhere, and things get shifted around. Probably Tyler was playing with those things. So I had to put the building back, but here, let's just look at it from the close up there. I love the moonlight and the peak, that's the peak up there. And you got like lights in the background. You got extra studs on there. I guess you put other things on there. But here's all the iconic buildings. You got the Hong Kong Bank, and you know, you had like all the financial centers, and the city hall, and the exhibition center, and a little bit of water there on the edge, a nice little touch. So here it is with the stickers. You got it here on this building, which is about to fall and collapse down. Let's put that back on. And then here you got Happy. This one looks a little bit festive style, but you do have a lot here on the buildings in the background. So this one you might want to use the stickers for. Let's check out the minifigures for this set. 
Oh, these guys are like total tourists. Look, there they are. And anyway, we got this girl and a guy, and I love the t-shirt. These are like my favorite one. Probably recognize this shirt from the last video. So the girl here, she's holding a balloon in her hand, and she had a cupcake. I don't know what happened to the cupcake. It has disappeared. But there she is with a balloon. I'm not sure why she has to have a balloon. If anywhere, this place should be the place that she has a selfie stick. I like the pants and the printing on there, like the rings hanging down. It's very rocker. And her shirt says, I love this guy. And she's standing next to this guy who's wearing his shirt that says, I love this girl. So unfortunately for the guy holding the compass, it's not on there all the way. It was cut off when they cut the sticker. They didn't cut it properly. And he's holding a map thing. And I think that map thing looks very familiar. It's probably from the other sets that we've known. And wearing a backpack, camping. Why? This is a city, yo. You don't need any of that. He should be holding like a shopping bag and going to buy some bricks and Legos. Let's go find some right now. So there you guys go. This is Panos Miniature City picture frame idea. I think these are really cool. And they're available on brickmeupscotty.com. So get yours or don't, or just watch this video and enjoy it. Thank you guys so much. Until next time, I'll catch you guys later. So brick me out. Wow, look at this. We made it in the city. We built this city. We built this city on rock and roll. I am mightily impressed with this set, to be honest with you. Scotty, you look real smart, but what the heck are you wearing? I just came from the Disney castle. I was in Mickey's room trying to clean up the place to get ready to review it. Oh, how sweet. When are we going to see it? When are we going to see it? We'll see it later. Let's just enjoy the city for now, man. Check this out. Look at me. Look at me. I'm now the statue in Beijing. Yo, dear, check it out. I'm like the rock from the skyscraper film. I'm leaping over into this building. Yeah. My name is Deerzilla. I will destroy the city and tear it down. Yeah, check it out. I'm like Superman now. I can fly over the city. Ding, 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 ding. And how cool is this? We can see the sunset in the distance. And oh, look, it's Deer's head mounted in the sky. Get me out of here. I don't want to be up here. Why do you mount my head up here? Because you look so right. Yet it's kind of wrong. Hey, hey, dear, check out my lollipop. Nice and big lollipop. Oh, gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme. I want that. I want to eat it. Mmm. Lollipop, lollipop, boo. Lolly, lollipop, lollipop. Ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. Dude, I love this building so much. I'm going to take it home with me. Come on, dear, let's get out of here. All right, you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching this video. Scotty will be back with more. Hey, I want to go visit the Disney castle. Sure thing, man. Let's get out of here. Let's ride on out. Bye-bye, guys.